What's up guys, uh, welcome to another video where I'll be giving my thoughts on Bitcoin. We'll also discuss an alt trade I'm currently in. You can already guess which one it is. Chart looks absolutely amazing, um, so we'll get into that later, but starting off with Bitcoin. Before we get into that, um, quick shout out to Bybit for sponsoring these videos. Um, and I just want to say I will be participating in the Bybit trading comp competition. Okay, so um, you can make a squad in, in those competitions and uh, compete against each other in squads. And the best squads that come out can get really nice prizes. Uh, there's a prize pool of up to 8 million, which is absolutely crazy. Um, so if you're trading anyway, it's, it's just... Um, yeah, there's no downside risk to just getting into the competition. Okay, just trade safely in the competition and who knows, you can get some extra shekels. Okay, so I'll leave a link in the description if you wanna join my team, I will be participating. We've already got a team of around 30 members. Um, so yeah, let's see, let's see what we can do there. All right, so thanks to Bybit. Um, head over to the description if you wanna know more. Okay, now Bitcoin. So. From yesterday, we already said that, um, yeah, the question was that if this was the deviation below range lows or if this was the range breakdown. Well, in my opinion, since we've seen all of these um, moves do exactly the same, right? Range deviation, range deviation. Is this a range deviation as well? Well, in my opinion, it is. Does that mean we're not going to go for the lows again? No. Okay. Um, also, another reason that I'm cautiously bullish is because of these clean highs up here, okay? So now all lows, all the downside liquidity liquidity got taken while we're, we're having clean highs up here to the upside, weekly highs, right, at 32k that are unswept, and all of these poor highs. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of liquidity resting above these triple highs, okay? Um, with that being said, how do we trade this? So either way you're thinking um, that, the, that the low is already in, then just, you just long, right, with stops below the lows, okay? Oops. So that would look something like this, stop loss below the low and target up here. In my opinion, that's still a good trade, okay? Because I think there's a high probability that we will be trading towards these highs. And honestly, I think this low holds. Now, what I could see is another scam move down to take out some lows here, okay, in there, and then the move towards the highs. Um, now, what's the area we want to look at? Well, then we're going to zoom in to the hourly, and what we use for that is OTE as always, okay? So from the high, uh, from the low to the high, we draw or our OTE and where do we see this lines up? Okay, right around these lows. So um, a big, a main, the main plan for me for Bitcoin, I'm currently flat on Bitcoin, but if I were to long this, I'd want to see a quick flush in there into OTE, ideally while sweeping some lows. Okay, so something like this, then I'd get long. If we see the, the good reaction, right? Keep your stop loss there, okay? At that point, you'd have a better entry than longing up here. And the targets would be the high here, range mean and range high, okay? So then the trade would look something like this. Boom, and then all the way up there. As you can see, very good uh, risk reward. As always, take some off on every key level um, and go from there, okay? So that's the main plan for Bitcoin. If it goes from here, so be it. I'll most likely just sit flat on Bitcoin. Um, but as I said, I'm in a long on an altcoin, which will then probably do very good as well. Um, if that doesn't happen, and if Bitcoin does this and closes down here, ugly, right? Then I'll most likely just sit out and wait for another sweep of these lows, okay? So it's either going to be a quick flush in here and a strong buyback, right? Or an ugly close down here. And at that point, chances we sweep the lows again um, 
are higher in my opinion okay then i'd rather wait for longs lower down okay but at the moment as you can see it's it's looking pretty good and i still um i'm cautiously bullish and i still think we will be trading towards these highs later this week or yeah potentially next week all right now the altcoin that i'm long on is um obviously link okay so i've posted about link in the discord yesterday i posted it live when i longed okay i was long um, a couple days ago as well and basically the reason for that is this high time frame range right so we've been ranging in this high time frame range for ages okay and typically what you want to be waiting for is when you're ranging a sweep of high time frame lows a reclaim and at that point, when you have clean highs to the upside, that's the moment when you're gonna get the biggest moves and the fastest moves away. Why? Because people are gonna get trapped here, shorting the lows, right? Big players accumulate longs, okay? Which results in strong buying pressure um, and a fast move to the upside, okay? Now, either you long the reclaim of range low, or what you can also do is wait for the reclaim of range mean when the lows are swept the high time frame lows are swept the high time frame highs are unswept and you're trading above range mean there's a very high probability that you will be trading towards range high okay which is the case here as you can see clean highs up here the lows down here got swept on this move reclaim right now trading above range mean a strong, very strong weekly close above range mean, retest on the daily, right? Um, <clears throat> and trending up nicely again right now. So it's very simple for me. That was the setup I took, right? Entry right around range mean, retest. Invalidation, I kept it a little bit wider. Why there? Because this was the sideways price section that led to the big move above range mean. If we zoom out a little, I zoom in a little, okay. The four hour sideways price section before this explosive move, you wanna see this area hold, okay. So I would allow something like this where we go for the lows again, take them out in here and then see a strong reclaim. Then I could see, still see this go for um, range high. Or yeah, simply go from here or maybe just a little retest and then more ranging and ultimately a move higher up towards that key high time frame liquidity um, at range high. All right. So that's going to be it um, for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to my YouTube for more content. Um, and yeah, as I said, I'm participating in the Bybit competition. So get in, use the link in the description. You don't even have to be on my ref link. You can just click the link and join my team. All right. Take care. Peace out and see you in the next one.